Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something sick. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. And then the hurt child became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more. Started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel light. Like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you, wow. I actually feel a lot more um, awake. Any issue you'd like to explore today? Um. Uh, normally, I think about it beforehand. I, for some reason, I didn't think about it beforehand today. Um, well, I've been struggling with, I mean, it's a normal breathing, you know, with my, with the dog, my sister's dog we put down. Right. Um, yeah. But, I mean, my coping mechanisms are like, you know, I guess the parts are kind of taking over the, like, smoking weed and watching TV and being productive. Like, mm -hmm. those parts seem to be, you know, like, taking over and helping me numb, I guess. Yeah. So being productive is is one of them. Is, is that what you said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So part that's grieving, and then these other parts: smoking weed, watching TV, being productive parts. And yeah. maybe a part that um, feels like feels like that's not uh, that it should be another way. I don't know. I don't know if that counts as a part yeah. or if that's the self. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Well, I do feel there's a part that's like judging. Um, you know, those coping mechanisms and telling me that it's wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Do you have any particular one of those that you feel like you'd like to explore or change your relationship with today? Um, maybe the judging part. Okay. And where do you notice that in your body or around your body?
I think my head and my head feels tight. Like my head and neck. Um. When you do you see that part or do you just sense it? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I see. It looks like me, like an adult version that I see it like skull, kind of bending a little bit at the waist, like scolding. Yeah. And as you see it doing that, how do you feel towards it? I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I guess like annoyed or sure. Some something like that. Okay. So see if you can ask the annoyed part. They're annoyed with the judgment part. If it'll give us some space to get to know the judgy part and see how it okay. reacts. He's wondering, like, why? Why should I? Yeah. Why should we get to know it? Why? And did you, and do you have an answer for it? Yeah. You take your time getting back into okay. it if you can. Okay. You were talking to the annoyed. Annoyed about the judgment part and seeing yeah. if you could negotiate some space there. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's important so that Yeah, so that we can get to know that part so that maybe it can soften a little or I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so that seems okay. Okay. So are you feeling curious about the judgy part? Yeah. Okay. So let it know that you're curious and that you want to get to know it better. And then ask it what it wants you to know or what it wants you to know about it.
she sees like I kind of see her in like a warehouse or something that's um, burning down and she's like, you know, I'm the one who's holding this place together. Yeah. And how do you feel towards it when you hear her say that? Um, I'm surprised that she thinks that she's holding it together, you know, mm-hmm. that that's what she thinks her job is. Um, but it sounds like a hard job. Yeah. So I guess compassion. Yeah. You can let her, let her know that you have that compassion for her. You might ask, you know, how did she get that job or? more about kind of the details of that job. How'd she get it? How does she feel um, just about doing it? I think she's saying like, well, nobody else would do it, you know, when it's like you fall apart and I pick up the pieces. Mm. Okay. And what's, and what is her fear? You ask her, what's she afraid will happen if she doesn't do the job what is what does the you falling apart look like or what's okay. what's on the other side of that I think she's afraid of me going into a deep depression again where I'm stuck in bed and I yeah. can't get out and yeah. can't really do anything. And does it make sense to you that she would believe that? Yes. Okay. So let her know that you get that. Just try to show her some appreciation for that intention of keeping you from that. Okay.
I have a question that is a new one, maybe a little okay. experimental. Okay. Ask this part if it protects other parts of you. Okay. Yeah, she feels like she's in charge. Mm -hmm. And is it in charge of of you or in charge of other parts? I don't know. She just feels like she's in charge. Okay. She's like, I run this whole ship. Yeah. Hmm. Try asking what she would like to do if she didn't have to do the job in that way or do it do it at all if if you could take over for her and okay keep keep that depression at bay and keep those problems from happening I see her kind of like um, in like a, a mumu, uh-huh. you know, where you know those dresses, yeah, um, like old lady dresses. I actually bought one recently, uh-huh. um, and and just kind of being chill and. Even like working with other women, you know, helping other women. Hmm. Um. And what does it, does she need from you to help realize that? What could, what could you two do together or could you do for her to help her chill? I think I feel like she's saying, you know, to take care of my business. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, do the day to day stuff that I need to do to 
I don't know, to keep living. <laughs> okay. Um, you could ask what that looks like or, or see if you can maybe, I don't know, I'm just picturing kind of a negotiation of like, what's next, what's, what steps, um, what, and maybe those steps are just checking in with her or maybe there's something more specific that you could do in the world. Just some brainstorming kind of questions. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like um, there is a part that's kind of feeling a little panicky at that question. And like, I don't know. I don't have the answers. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you think that that's a different part? But Can you tell? Yeah, it felt different. Mm -hmm. It feels younger and like more in my chest. Hmm. I mean, I can say like you know, I think routines would help. Um, you know, there are a few things I want to try to do every day. And mm. I try, but I just don't always have the energy. But like exercising and stretching and journaling and checking in with parts. Um, and, you know, it might help if I set up a schedule to do that but I also know that sometimes if I set up a schedule then I resist it so yeah 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 well that's good that you you have you know you at least have that you're able to put out those those ideas and okay and I don't know this this part sounds like it's not it's not like it's fighting you on those ideas. Um, if I could suggest an ex yeah. a little exercise I like to do sometimes with, because this is like a, a problem solving, a part wants to get stuff done. Um, so a lot of times with those parts, I'll do like, a, like I'll just make a, I'll just write one through 10 on a piece of paper. And I'll just say, okay. What are 10 things that we could do? And then I'll just pick one. But I but I like to have that kind of like push myself to come up with 10. Anyway, that's just an idea. Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, if, 
you want, we could just shift and see if we can learn more about the part that's that's feels younger, feels in your chest and thinks and says it doesn't know what to do. I'll leave that up to you. Okay. Yeah. And you might ask this judgy part if it's okay with us shifting to that or if it has any concerns. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. And how do you feel towards that part that that says, I don't know, I don't have the answers? Um, I have compassion mm-hmm. for that part. I'm curious. And can you see that part? And can you see what age it might be? like sitting on the ground curled up like hiding in the dark yeah um she's young And how do you feel about going towards her and getting to know her? Good. Okay. See what happens if you just let her know that you're that you're there to do that. Let's see how okay. she reacts. I think she's five. Okay. How does she react? She's a, Go ahead. She's okay with um, me being there. She's um, glad, you know, still worried, but She's glad I'm there. Um, You might ask her if she feels like you understand her pain or worry. I'm sorry, can you uh, repeat the question? Yeah, you could ask her if she feels like you understand her concern and her pain. Okay.
Yeah, I think so. Okay. And how are you being with her now? Is she still curled up and hiding? Um, yeah, I'm like sitting next to her and have my arm around her. She's letting me like hold her. So she she trusts now that you care about her? Yeah. Okay. Um. You could try inviting her to come with you and come out of that place and see how she reacts to that. Or go to any other place, you know, wherever she wants to go. Yeah, she wants to go to the beach house. Great. So go ahead and take her there and just follow her lead wherever she wants to, wherever she feels comfortable. If that's exploring or relaxing. You can tell her that she doesn't have to go back to that place. And that she doesn't have to have the answers because you're going to be taking care of her from now on. How does she react to that? Good. She <clears throat> she likes the new place. Um, she feels good. You might ask if there's just anything else that she wants you to to know about her or if there's uh, any kind of pain in her body or, yeah, kind of burden or pain in her body that she'd like to release. Okay. Yeah, she has some pain she'd like to release. Okay. And where is that? In her body? What is it? Yeah, well, I mean, you said where is it? Is it in her body? Oh. Somewhere in her or around her body? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think the chest area. Okay. And then ask what she would like to give it up to or how she would like to release it. I think air. Okay. Is that something you can go ahead and help her do? Yes. Let her do that until it's all out. Okay. How does she feel now without it? Peaceful. Great. And she can also now invite other qualities into her that um, maybe she's made space for. Anything else that would help her to I don't know if you'll hold. Should also ask her how she would like for you to to revisit how what your ongoing relationship should look like for what would be ideal for her. Okay.
I'm gonna step away from the phone for just one second. I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> an alarm that I have. Um, so you were inviting any new qualities. Oh, you were asking about how she'd like to go forward or have you revisit. Yeah. Um, just, she wants me to just check in and sit with her and show her some love. Okay. And I don't know if the judgy part was, you know, a protector here, but you could invite that judgy part or any other part who was kind of witnessing to come in and see if they would also like to give anything up or yeah, maybe in the same way that, that she did. Yeah, she, I could see her like screaming. The judgy part? Yeah, like yelling, letting it out, uh -huh. yelling. Are there any other parts that are, um, that are, have any concerns or questions about the work you're doing? I don't think so. Okay. Do you feel like you're in a good place with them now? I think so. Okay. I'd give them all a big thanks. Okay. And, um, yeah. If, it's, if it feels complete for you, then we can step out of that and... I thank you Great. for your time and showing me all of this. Yeah, thank you. Um, I don't know. I, I have a very special relationship with my five-year-old part. Um, mm. And I just... I look forward to hearing how that develops for you. Cool. Okay. Anything else to talk about? Any other questions? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Okay. Talk to you. Bye. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Zikri, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, 
we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube. And they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there. And give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.